welcome Andrew Allen Smith, who will be with us at the Holiday Book Festival in on November 30th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Kensington Mill Falls events in Milford, Michigan. Yay! <laughs> welcome, Andrew. Why, thank you. I'm, I was trying to sling ink. <laughs> That's what I it thought you worked, were doing. <laughs> it weren't coming out. It's, I don't get it. Come on out of here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why, thank you, Mandy Joe. I appreciate you having me. To, or is this my show? This could be my show. You never, know. <laughs> you never know. Why, yes. Thank you for having me. And thank you for hosting this fine event that we will go walk in parades and have exciting fun and enjoy all sorts of exciting readers and, uh, you know, maybe read to them for a few. Yeah. I like reading books to people. It's good. <laughs> It may scare them. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. So you are reading at the event, and you're reading out of another slice of passion? Yes. And I am reading out of this book, Another Slice of Passion. And that's um, also in the book cover contest. It is. So vote for Another Slice of Passion. Order yours today. <laughs> or show up and buy it. I guess the only... The only problem I've had is I've been trying to read it and it's everything <laughs> looks wrong. It's almost like I did. Oh wait, I got it. Now. Okay, yes, but I will be reading another slice of passion. I will be having fun. I will be enjoying myself and annoying just about everyone. So it'll be great. That'll be awesome. I yes. can't wait. So you've got. 18 book titles that you're bringing? Only 16. The Only other 16. two are still in post-production. Okay. <sighs> okay, that was good. <laughs> I feel good about it. I, I didn't sling enough ink fast enough, and it slowed me down. I've uh... had some setbacks this year that have slowed me down. But I still have 16 books that I will be bringing 15 of them. So okay. everything is good. Awesome. And we'll have lots of fun. Those books include the Masterson File series, and it's a cool series now because if you take and buy all six books, that's right, buy all six books, it'll make a pretty picture on the back of the books. Is that really cool or what? That we is cool. Demonstrate because I happen to have the books behind me. Don't pay attention, folks. I'm just leaving for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> So if we take these six books, mm -hmm. and this is Curious Cousin on one side, Vengeful Son on the other, and the rest in between, and we put them back to back, the bottom becomes a oh. rifle going all across the books. A nice P90 assault weapon that's only the military carry. Mmm, nice. Lots of fun. <laughs> I love it. That is a cool idea to... Hey, so those are all brand new covers then. Yes, those are brand new covers. I had redone uh, just this past year. I have spent this past year cleaning up older books, redoing covers, and kind of aligning my brand a little bit tighter, as mm -hmm. well as paying attention to, okay, what can I do to make this stand out? Mm -hmm. As we know, the world is full of people that buy books because of their color now. Oh, yes. look, I need more pink books in my bookshelf. Uh, not necessarily because they read them, but they want a, a pink and a blue and a yellow and a green. And they have all sorts of little lines and they have the prettiest bookshelves in the world. My bookshelves in my library back that way are mm -hmm. the most ungodly mess of everything uh, from side to side because I refer to it always, pick it up always. And as I do so, I end up moving things around and things are stacked oddly and sideways and side goggling and only the books that are to my left behind me and to that side mm -hmm. uh, whoop, uh, yeah those back there are perfectly <laughs> great because those are books that are special to me including ah. many local authors that i found uh, can relay relay good ideas and good emotions and great passions. And I want to have them at my, at my fingertips. So I hear a yeah. puppy dog. <laughs> yes. She decided to bring me a toy just now. And now she's upset because I took her toy, uh, but, but it's all good. 
So, so do you include your puppy dog in any of your books? Uh, my puppy dog, not wholly. However, book five of the Masterson Files, Silent Sister, has her on the cover. Oh. So if you if you read Silent Sister, we're leaving again. <laughs> Silent Sister has ah. the puppy dog on the cover. <laughs> is in my yard, and she loves to hide in the woods and run around like Senora Psychopath. And, <laughs> uh, it's in and out of the woods constantly uh, through the ferns and playing all the time. And that particular book is about one of the secondary characters in the Masters and Files series, a gentleman named Alan who goes down to Venezuela to save a young lady from her rather sick and upsetting father. And in the process, uh, gets into an interesting series of problems and all sorts of traps. But he travels constantly with his two very well-trained German shepherds. Mm. And Pepper as my ninth German shepherd that I have trained. Wow. Uh, and one of many other dogs that I have trained. Uh, she is a, she's still a puppy, but she is a, a good, a good dog to put on the cover, uh, because it was all about the jungle and that was a good picture of the jungle, even though it's a Michigan jungle and not a Venezuelan jungle, it still worked. Yeah. Still worked. Nobody's going to know. <laughs> I will know. They will know. <laughs> they'll know because i told them to take that back <laughs> okay we rolled it back we Rewind. don't have to worry about it anymore roll that back right there but uh that the fifth book is done very well because people both like that character and they like the idea of puppy dogs <clears throat> so you've got the masters and files Can yes you... uh, i was there and then i have the eternal forever book two coming out soon the first book in the series is adam uh, and Morgan has been a long-term project that I have rewritten several times and finally put a giant stake in and said, I'm, I'm done with this. Uh, we have book seven in the Masters and Files series coming soon as well. That's just another coming soon. And uh, <laughs> that, that is Vengeance Incorporated. We also have two books of poetry, A Slice of Passion and Another Slice of Passion, which mm -hmm. I will be reading. Yes, that was another advertisement. Uh, <laughs> We have three volumes of horror, uh, and that includes a uh, slice of fear, a knife, another slice of fear, and yet another slice of fear, which uh, I was at a book signing last weekend, and somebody came up and started reading them, and they bought the book just because they couldn't stop laughing that <laughs> yet another slice of fear? I have to have that. Uh, <laughs> that worked out very good. We also have, or I also have, uh, a uh, book called The Theft and Other Short Stories that was one of my first books that I put out. Uh, that was rewritten uh, and republished just recently. I just cleaned up the book because it was a very early publish that I did back when Back when Amazon was young doing this and I thought, oh, I'll put together something and put it mm -hmm. out there. And uh, I modernized it, modernized the cover and added extra stories inside because oh. why not add something that other people didn't have and mm -hmm. make it a little bit better. Uh, and then the last book I have is called What Not to Say to People Who Are Grieving and it is a focused book on grief. Uh, from the perspective of, you know, you really shouldn't say anything unless you're walking in those shoes. My my niece went through a tra tragedy and was killed many years ago. And uh, it was very tough on my little sister already. But at the memorial service, it got even tougher as people started saying things uh, like, don't worry, you can have another child or uh let's see god needed her more than you did it was her time and she was only a 25 year old young lady the, wow. the book focuses on uh perhaps it's better to just give a person a hug and yeah. be there rather than try to make it better because there's no words that you can say not a single word that'll make it any better yeah so that would be very difficult yeah and did, did i miss anything oh let's see oh, I think that's what I have right now. Uh, I have others that 
I will not be bringing, but those are what will be represented at the show. Awesome. So you have a great variety of genres. Yes. I, you have something for just about everybody. Yes, I have something for everyone. And if I don't, I can sling some ink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we'll, we'll just keep slinging ink and everything will be okay. Yes, awesome. But you also like to do photography and you have a blog. I do. I, I, I do actually have quite a few, but uh, that's that's the one that everybody talks about. And I had a woman several years ago that said, I've read Andrew's Masterson file books and they're really good. But if you want a real treat, you should read his blog every day. And that was kind of, <laughs> okay, That's a. will take the review. My books were good, but have a real treat and read my blog every day. So you can read my blog at 29,000sunsets.com. And 20, the idea behind 29,000 Sunsets was really easy. I was, it's based on an event and I was looking at the events that are in our lives. 29,000 is the number of sunsets we all get or might get 79 and three quarter years. And it's the average lifespan of a person in the United States. Well, uh, the idea behind it is that if today was day 28,999, and tomorrow you were going to wake up and go, <gasps> and there you'd be no more. You knew that tomorrow you were going to die. What would you do different? And why aren't you doing it today? And this is a problem with many people. They're always, you know, tomorrow I'll go here. Tomorrow I'll do this. And we hear it a lot. You, I'm sure, hear mm -hmm. it a ton that, hey, I'm going to write a book. I have the best idea in the world. It's the most fantastic thing. I, I Nobody has ever written a book like this. I don't want to tell you the idea, but I'm going to write that book. And the next week you read their obituary uh, because they never sat down and wrote the book or because, uh, you know, the, that type of passion they just didn't focus on. Uh, or it could have been because of a dozen other reasons, but hey, they're gone. And now we never get to know what that great idea was that we could have used to make the best book in the world that nobody's ever heard of. That's true. But, but uh, I go further and I have a very simple philosophy and repeat it many times in the blog. Don't whine about the past or pine about the future. Instead, define yourself every day and give yourself the best day you can possibly give. And there are a lot of people in the world that sit back and let the world slap them down and they don't enjoy it. Oh, I'm horrible today. It's been an awful day. Uh, you know, what, what went wrong today? I don't know, but I just feel bad. And, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe you should be, I don't know, and I just feel great. I'm going to have a good day. And, you know, if you hate my guts or if you like me, it really doesn't matter as long as I can give myself the best day possible. And that's what I push each day. The, sometimes it's very prophetic. Sometimes it's not. Uh, the automatic posts don't always work, but uh, <laughs> I have a post for every day for the last a little over eight years. There's close to 3,500 different posts for you to look at and go back through. And if you use the magical search function, you can find just about any topic that you want. And about two years ago, I started hashtagging them and many of them are set in hashtags and you want inspiration you can click on an inspiration hashtag and look at all of those if you want to think of puppies let's look at dogs or puppies <laughs> yeah, there's a hashtag for that uh, if you want people if you want just sunsets if you want something about love and passion or honor there's always something there and i really wanted something that hey people can enjoy or they don't have to and mm -hmm. if kids ever wonder how I think years after I'm gone, somewhere after I get 110 years old, they'll be able to go to the site and they'll say, hey, this is what dad thought about this. And maybe other people will enjoy it. I've got simple, I, I don't allow comments. I mm -hmm. don't put it out there for anyone. I take lots of emails and I reply to all the emails that people send me. Uh, I reply to most of my emails. There's only a couple that I don't reply to. Uh, but... <laughs> uh, you send me an email and say, uh, you know, I, I feel this way and I saw that you felt a different way. I'm more than happy to discuss it because the moment in the world that you feel like you're right, that's when I know you're wrong. So I want to say <laughs> those opinions that 
I want to know that, hey, I see your point of view and maybe I mm-hmm. need to shift my point of view a little because I haven't experienced that fully or you had a different experience and I can still, I, I can understand that. Mm-hmm. Or I can go, hey, yeah, you, you think that, but ha, I've done it <laughs> another way and it works better. <laughs> Either way, it works. Awesome. So you will be there in, in November with yeah. 15 book titles, which is awesome. Because yes. this 16. year. We're, we're, I'm deciding that. I may have all 16, but awesome. the, the one, to, one has secret sauce in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about that. People may come for us. It was oh. a cookbook? Oh. No. <laughs> How to serve man. Oh, it's a cookbook. Oh, no. Okay. We're we're going down the Twilight Zone path. So. Okay. Awesome. Yes, I will be there. Awesome. And you get a six foot table this this time around, all to yourself. It's still I'm it's hard to be a monster. I, six foot is pretty small, but hey, I'll I'll, be, <laughs> I'll make do. I'll enjoy myself. I'll, I'll have fun. And if you're there and if you come to, you know, this exciting book, you know, this is going to be a holiday book festival. We're going to have lots of people there. It's going to be exciting. And uh, it's hosted by the Creative Slingers of Inc. And if you come looking for Andrew Allen Smith, he probably won't be at his table. I don't know (laughs) that he's ever at his table. He's wandering around (laughs) talking to people and learning how other people think so that someday he can go, hey, I wrote about you in my blog last week, and it worked out <laughs> good. I, I like that. It, it's kind of fun. So, yeah, just just put your hand up and say, Andrew Allen Smith, Andrew Allen Smith, Andrew Allen Smith, and he'll suddenly be back at the table. It, it's <laughs> kind of like kind of like magic. I, I don't think I'll be wearing a striped suit, but I might. You never know. I've, I've done stranger things in my life. <laughs> Who was this time once? Uh, no, wait. Okay. Yes, I will be there. Where? What? What day were we on? November what? Saturday, oh, yeah. November thirtieth. November thirtieth. Yeah. Well, the very I'll, last day of November. <laughs> yes, and I'll probably be walking in a very cold parade. We don't want it very cold. <laughs> well, it was last year. I know. Oh, <laughs> But see, now that I live in a warmer climate, I don't want it to be cold when I come back to Michigan. <laughs> yeah. I, I may bring a flamethrower because everybody needs a flamethrower, right? <laughs> Let's make it warm. Look, the fire department's back at the back. <laughs> come up here and put this fire out. No, no, it's warmer up here. It'll all be good. <laughs> all right. Well, I am looking forward to seeing you in person in November along okay. with all 32 authors so it'll be a fun time head by all it's gonna and- be a good time good <laughs> oh, wait, okay. all right we're 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 all gonna have fun we're yes. all gonna have books yep and we'll have book fun yeah and uh read about the masterson files enjoy the things as they go on and uh when you get there throw money you know be ready Throw yep. some money in. We'll, we'll be there to take your money and give you books. And you can get a set of six books of the Masterson Files. And it has a pretty picture on it. I showed you. You, you just have awesome. to hit rewind. That's yep. that button over to the left. You can go back and look at that picture again. It, <laughs> it'll work just fine on this thing. Now, do you have any um, other book festivals that you're doing between October and November? Uh, no, I I did a signing last week at Barnes and Noble. Mm-hmm. Uh, I scheduled very little this year. In fact, I didn't remember I scheduled you. I know. <laughs> uh, the due to a personal situation, uh, I was unaware if I would be able to attend any festivals this year. Uh, and I I am happy to say that I am alive. And I am able to attend festivals. So next year I'll gear back up. Uh, but I'm hopeful that I'll be spreading out even a little further uh, and having some fun along the way. Well, because we all should be having fun, right? Exactly. And just an FYI, yes. next October, next October. October, not this one, 2025, we're having our first book festival in South Carolina. See how you are and where at, though. 
in South Greer. Texas. Where? Greer. Can you say it one more time? Greer. Greer? <laughs> Are you picking up a Southern accent there, girl? <laughs> We're going to Greer. How many syllables is that? Is that one or two? We're, one. It's just one syllable. <laughs> I, I've... Greer, where where exactly? What what's it? What's what's that bigger city? It's close to Greenville and Spartanburg. Greenville, I understand where Greenville is, and I understand where Spartanburg. Well, we'll have to do a train and go down there. We'll we'll put a bunch of because if I'm understanding, let's see, uh, there I know some rather prominent authors and poets that are in the area uh, that uh, they they all have to come too, and mm -hmm. we'll make it into a party. Ooh, yeah, uh, a party gonna be a good time. Good. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, that sounds fun. So October what? October eighteenth, I believe it is. And are you having it at the Cracker Barrel? No, we're actually having it at the historic Greer Depot. Okay. Which How is many alongside is that? a working railroad track. That railroad track's moving? Yep. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, is at least it, the trains are on it. <laughs> okay. Is, is it is it like a real railroad, like it's diesels and stuff, or is it a, mm -hmm. a steam engine? I'm going to have some fun and take you on a terror train and scare you a little. No, I haven't seen any steam engines come through. Just the plain old ones. Okay. We'll have to work on that. So we're going to Greer. <laughs> or is it Greer? I, I'm, I'm just trying to make Greer. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm there now. Uh, we can do that. We have, we have. So next year, everybody plan your days to go to Greer. We'll have a fun bus, and that fun bus will provide alcohol. And by the time you get there, your wallets will be empty, and you'll have to refill them to shop at the bookstore. <laughs> then we'll take you home. It'll be great. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, I am so looking forward to having you this year in November in person. Where am I going? Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember Milford. That. Milford, yeah, I remember that now. That's that's a northern access. Milford, I got gotcha. Milford. I will go to Milford. I like it very much. Thank you. It'll be good. I like Milford. All um, right. Well, thank you for being on here for the author interview. Why? Thank you for having me. And I hope that you have an amazing and wonderful day. And I hope lots of people watch this and say, yes, I want to be there. I have to be there. Exactly. It'll be good. It'll be good. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Wrong one. Let's try this again.